Hi, I guess we have a caller on the line. Oh. Hey. Hello? Hello. Hi. I have a science question for you guys today. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. So in chemistry, how is a single bond different from a double bond? Sure. Okay, so when you're talking about bonds, either single bonds or double bonds, you're talking about um, a covalent bond. Um, so have you learned maybe in your chemistry class the difference between an ionic bond and a covalent bond? I know a little bit about it, but um, not too much. Okay. Well, just suffice it to say that um, there are different ways that atoms and molecules can stick together. Okay? Okay. And sometimes the force that makes them stick together is sort of a magnetic force. So you can end up having positive atoms or molecules and negatively charged atoms or molecules, and they can stick together sort of like magnets. Okay. Um, but another way that uh, atoms and molecules bond together is through what's called covalent bonds. And covalent bonds occur when uh, two atoms share electrons. Does that make sense? It does, yeah. Okay. So let me pull up a picture of a single, a double, and a triple bond. Okay, if we could jump to my screen. Um, so this is a really simple, are you watching the show right now? I am, yes. Okay, great. So hopefully you can see this image. This is a really simple representation of a single bond a double bond and then something that goes right along with us, which would be a triple bond. Um, so um, the single bond example, so we, we demonstrate a bond by the, the top picture. We just draw a line between two uh, letters to represent atoms to show a single bond, two lines to represent a double bond, and three to represent a triple bond. That makes good sense, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So then these images below sort of show what we're talking about with the single, double, and triple bond. So in the case of hydrogen, uh, there's this gas, hydrogen gas, uh, H2. Um, it's fairly common, and uh, hydrogen gas H2 forms uh, by two hydrogens, which each just have one electron, sharing those electrons with each other. So uh, each hydrogen has one electron, they share it with each other, and so now each hydrogen has two because they're both able to use both electrons. Does that make some sense? Yeah, yeah. And that sharing is what bonds them together, what holds them together. In the case of a double bond, it's just that happening two times. So oxygen, O2, the, the gas that we breathe uh, that allows us to uh, live, um, mm -hmm. is a double bonded chemical or a double bonded molecule. So what we have here is uh, two oxygen atoms, each of them sharing two electrons for a total of four electrons uh, shared all together. Do you see okay. that in the image? Yeah, I do. And then uh, you can just continue this on to a triple bond. A triple bond then is two atoms sharing three electrons each. Uh, so for six total, and nitrogen gas, N2 is a really classic example of that. And another way that these are sometimes represented is through images like this. Okay. Okay. So that's really, that's the whole thing. So single, double, and triple bonds are, co are types of covalent bonds. Um, and I think that that's, that's pretty much it. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, sure. Thank you so much for calling. Yeah, thank you. Subscribe! Come on, push the button. You know you, yeah, you want, want to. to. <laughs> Do it.